This is a video walking through the live poll assessment type that can be accessed directly within Elm. On the left hand side of the screen is an instructor account. On the right hand of the screen is a student account. Within the assessment, directly within Elm, you can convert any of your existing assessments into the live poll activity type by first clicking on the gear icon and moving down into settings. As you scroll down and hover over display style found beneath core options, when you click on the drop down, you can adjust this to live poll. For a complete description of the live poll activity type, please see this description here. The live poll activity type is meant to be used as a clicker style uh, assessment. The advantage of utilizing the live poll activity type is that the students will actually not need to have an additional device or an additional login. So any of your existing assessments that you've developed by simply changing the toggle to live poll, you can convert this to a clicker style question, enabling your students to participate without the need for additional uh, instructions. Once you click save changes and are ready to start the live poll activity, when you click on homework one and start the assessments, you'll be prompted with a handful of toggles you can turn on and off that will determine what your students will or will not see. In this case, we're showing the question on the screen when it's first selected. We'll show results as they come in on the screen. We'll show results on the screen after the questions close. We'll show correct answers after the question is closed. And we'll also use a question timer for 120 seconds. In the upper right hand corner of the instructor count, there are no students. So if you're wanting to ensure all students within your course, whether that's a face-to-face -face or an online course, uh, for everyone to um, sign up to participate in the live poll activity, you can verify this here in the corner. As a student, I'm going to enter the assessment. And once I um, have entered the assessment, it'll say the number of students here on the instructor count. And as a student, I'm still waiting for the instructor to start the question. In the instructor account, you'll see here on this page, you have the choice to either show the question on the screen, show results, or show the correct answers. So if you're wanting to ensure that students aren't working ahead, you can turn this off. When you're ready to display the question, you can display the question by turning on the toggle. I'll turn the rest of these on. And as of now, I'll click Open Student Input. And here on the right hand side of the screen, you'll notice that the question was pushed directly onto the student screen. As I respond to the question from a student's perspective and click submit question, you'll notice here on the left hand side of the screen, there was a result that was received. As an instructor, I can close student input. I can generate a similar question or I can open student input for the exact same question. I'll move on to the next question. And when I'm ready to click open student input on the student's screen, it'll update and refresh on their device in real time. And depending upon how the student responds, whether they get the question right or wrong, the immediate response gets pushed directly here on this page. The great thing about all the activities that are being done currently in the live poll assessment type is that all the great features and functionality you would normally expect for an assessment type of an OM can be found directly within the live poll assessment type. So to ensure students are participating, you do have the ability to be able to look up their student data after they've submitted. You'll also notice that it does not show uh, the student's name for when they participate, so it includes the student's anonymity for the individual assessment. If I wanted to see the results, I can quickly click on the gear icon and click on grades and see the individual responses for students. And on this page, if I am interested, I can send a message to the student directly, just as I would for any of the other assessment types.